Hi, Stuart again. We're going to spend a couple of minutes taking a journey from the tough outer layer of this amazing organ inside to the amazing factories and structure of your standard long bone. The tough outer covering of bone is called the periosteum. Peri is a prefix which means enclosing or surrounding, as in perimeter. Osteo is one of the word roots for bone. Inside the periosteum is the compact bone. It is the compact bone which provides support for the body and enough strength for locomotion and other forms of motion. There is a cavity inside the shaft of long bones called the medullary cavity. The medullary cavity is lined with the endosteum. Endo is a prefix meaning inside. The medullary cavity is filled with yellow bone marrow, which is composed primarily of fat cells. So, the yellow bone marrow provides us with a means of energy storage. The bulbous ends of long bones are filled with spongy bone, which is filled with millions of small cavities and passages. These cavities produce and are filled with red bone marrow. As we talked about earlier, the red bone marrow is hemopoietic, or blood producing, and makes our red blood cells platelets and most of our white blood cells. Well, that's enough about the internal anatomy of a bone. In the next lesson, we'll go outside and talk about different landmarks on our bones.